Hello, it's really important to stand out from your current competitors, if you like, uh, and basically be in a position where you're not in competition. The, the better you can stand out from the other people in your sector or, or industry, the less you are in competition. So there's a saying, create rather than compete. And the reason why it's important is shown up here. So what I've got up there is pounds or dollars on the vertical line and the volume of output and sales coming along here. And this black line, that indicates what your average cost per unit will be. And generally what happens is you'll have fixed costs. So if you only produce one thing, you'll have a high average cost because you've got to absorb your fixed costs as part of that um, you know, one unit. But the more things you produce, you may have some variable costs. But in general, because you're spreading your overheads more thinly, your average cost will gradually come down, steadily come down until you get to a certain stage where you start running out of capacity. So your building isn't big enough. You haven't got enough machinery. You haven't got enough workforce. You can't get hold of enough supplies of materials, etc. And then what tends to happen is your average unit cost starts to go up again unless you can expand so you might you know move to a bigger premises or upgrade your machinery etc cetera, etc cetera. so generally you want to be so, sort of somewhere near where your unit costs are quite low in order to be operating most efficiently now the green line that shows what's called the demand for your product or service and again what happens is the higher the price you charge the less you'll be able to sell and as you lower your price you can sell more and if you're in a competitive in industry where basically you're a commodity which means there's very little to distinguish you from your competitors then what tends to happen is your demand line looks a bit like this green line here and there's two things about this one it's quite low because what's happened is because there's loads of competition everyone's had to lower their prices in order to be able to sell so it's made the prices in the market quite low and the other thing is it's quite flat which and that means it's price responsive which means that let's just say you're here where this blue circle is producing this much at that price. If you try and raise your prices, you'll lose quite a lot of custom because you're in a price sensitive, price competitive market and you're a commodity. Now, the only thing you can do now is, well, there's two things actually. You could consider lowering your prices to try and steal a march on the competition. But all that will do is well, it will do two things. First of all, they'll probably lower their prices just to compete with you. And then this green demand line will go even lower because everyone's charging even lower prices. And the second thing is because you're in a price sensitive market, although you might capture market share because the price is so low, the margins are so low, you'll actually end up making less profit and probably making a loss because there just isn't much margin there to play with to be able to lower your prices and still make a profit. of difference to differentiate what you offer and you can do that in a whole load of ways you can have uh, upsells cross sells bundling extra value you could have uh, gold silver bronze packages you could have better service more products um better quality guarantees uh better gar better um guarantees and, and safety uh, risk you know risk risk reversal yeah so you know money back guarantees etc there's a whole host of things that you can do better stock than anyone else more convenient Whatever it is you do to help you stand out from the competitors is called your market dominating position. And the effect it has is that you can now charge a higher price to sell at any given amount because basically you'll have uh, moved yourself away from a lot of the competition. And, you know, in the ultimate, you won't have any competition. So what that means is two things. One, you're charging a higher price. And two, the demand for your product is now steeper, which means it's less price sensitive. So what we've done here is we could have charged this amount and still sell the same amount as before, but we can actually charge even more. And although we might lose some market share because um, maybe we've put our prices up 10 percent and only lost, say, 5 percent market share because it's not price sensitive, we could actually end up making a bigger profit. So at any given time, the profit we make is the sort of gap between the demand here, the price and the average cost. Well, we could sell less, but because the gap is bigger, we could actually end up making a bigger profit. So that's why it's really important to stand out from the crowd, from the competition and blow them away so that you don't have any competition. Uh, and the real ways you do that, it's very simple. You either specialize to a market niche. So you become you know, the sought after best company or business or product or service in a particular niche, market niche. And then you position yourself as the expert or the specialist in that niche. 
And, you know, you can do other things like having a powerful guarantee, like offering training, like having a wider range of products, like having prompt next day delivery, et cetera, et cetera. There's loads of ways you can do this. But it's really important to get away from being a, a commodity where you're down here on this green line in a price sensitive market to being differentiated where you're up on this red line here where you're not in a price sensitive market. So that's why it's really important to be able to stand out from the crowd. Uh, if you want to know how to... Um, well, get ideas to help you do this, why not consider looking at a mastermind group? And if you're interested in that, have a look at businessroundtableuk.co.uk. Hope you found that interesting and useful. Thanks very much for watching.